Hey lovies, welcome back to another recipe and on today's recipe I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this smart watering cow food. If you're interested in this recipe, please do stay tuned as I take you through the list of the ingredients and preparation method. So here are some of the list of the ingredients we're going to be needing, some sweet chili peppers or red bell peppers, some onion, scotch bonnet pepper for spicy and some garlic and ginger so right here i have some colorful um bell peppers which i'm going to be using to garnish in the cow food and right here is my cow food already washed and clean so right now i'm just going to roughly blend my onion garlic ginger and scotch bonnet pepper which I'm going to use to cook the cow food so as to give it some nice flavor. So after roughly blending this, of which you can go ahead and chop it if you want, I will just go ahead and transfer into the cow food in my pot. So right now I'll go ahead and add in my dry thyme curry powder, salt, some mangi cube which I'm using no mangi. So I'll mix this together and at this moment I'll add in the, my fresh rosemary and I'll cover this without adding any water and allow it to cook on a medium heat for just about 10 to 15 minutes so as the cow food will absorb all those spice and peppers. So right now, I'll go ahead and add enough water for the cow food to cook and I will cover it and allow it to cook for about an hour to uh, 1 hour 20 minutes depends on how strong your cow food is and depends on the pot you're using to cook it. So what you just need to do is to allow the cow food to cook until it's almost coming off the bone. So right here, I'll just go ahead and start washing my peppers. I'll take off all the seeds and add some water, wash it clean and blend my peppers. So for this cow food recipe, I'm going to be roughly blending my peppers with my food processor. But you can go ahead and blend this smooth, it depends on how you like it. So after washing the peppers and onion, I will just go ahead and blend this. And this is the consistency I'm going for. You can see how roughly blend it is. So I will set that aside and start chopping my bell peppers, which I'm going to be using to garnish my cow food. This is just going to give it that nice color, nice taste, like inviting color on your table. So I will just chop my yellow and green bell peppers and set that aside for garnishing. So guys, thank you very much for clicking on this video. If it's your first time here, you're welcome to Lydia Isaac TV. My name is Lydia and thank you very much to my returning subscribers. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you for always coming back. So if it's your first time here and you've not subscribed to this channel and you love to please do go ahead and click on that red subscribe button click on the bell icon that goes with it so you'll never miss any recipes from this channel and at the end of the day if you love this recipe please don't forget to give it a big like and follow my page so here are my veggies preps i'll go ahead this moment and Check on my cow food which is already cooked and I will set this off the pot. So you can see the cow food is well cooked and the juice in it is already dried up, almost dried up. So that way the cow food is going to absorb all the flavors that we just used to um, cook the cow food. So right now, I'll go ahead and take the cow skin off the bone. 
and i'm going to be leaving some bone on it like the bones that are not that that big i'm not going to be taking them off because this is also going to make it a kind of interesting like you holding it and eating it keeping yourself busy yeah so i'm not taking all the bones off i'm only taking the heavy and strong bones off it so this is what it looked like you can see how it is so right now I'll put my pot in the fire and add in some cooking oil I'll preheat my oil and add in the onion which I'm going to be cooking for just about two minutes just for it to soften up and after two minutes I'll go ahead and add in my dry thyme at this moment so it will bring out all the flavors and I'll add in my roughly blended um, chili peppers So at this moment my fire is on the highest heat so you need a high heat fire to cook your sweet chili peppers so it won't start bringing out some liquid so you need that hot fire to cook it to make it dry up the liquid in it so at this moment i went ahead and add in my curry powder and i just stir this up together i'll allow it to keep on cooking So this was 12 minutes later, you can see it is well cooked, the juice in the peppers is getting dried. I'll add in a little bit of salt because I already parboiled my cow food with enough salt. So I'm not going to be adding a lot of salt so it doesn't overpower this delicious um, side dish. So I'm going to be taking off some peppers from it just to control the consistency of the peppers and taking off a lot more oil off it also the only reason i use a lot of oil is just to help the peppers to dry up quickly because without enough oil the pepper is going to be bringing out liquid so i'll just go ahead and add the cow food and i will stir this up together so if you need to add more peppers at this moment you can go ahead and add that but if you are okay with how you have it you can just leave it without adding more of the peppers so i'll stir this together and i'll cover it and allow it to cook for just about 10 to 15 minutes on a very low heat just for the cow food to absorb those delicious pepper sauce we just made So after 15 minutes, I went ahead and add in my colorful bell peppers just to give it that inviting color and for crunchiness while eating. So I will stay together and allow to cook for just only 3 minutes and 3 minutes later, our cow food will be ready. So guys, our cow food is ready. I'll just go ahead and stir this one more time. And I'm going to be adding some spring onion just to give it that nice aroma and flavor. And I'll also go ahead and add in some more spicy chili peppers. But if you don't like spice, just keep the spicy chili peppers. I'll stir this together and my cow food is ready. And after I took off the cow food from the pot, I went ahead and used that same sauce to make a little bit jello fries to enjoy this delicacy. Thank you so much guys for watching. Till I see you on my next recipe. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.